All right, now what I want to show you are these two snails here. This is the infamous golden apple snail. And uh, it was introduced to the Philippines by accident. I won't name who was responsible for this. Uh, it was not an eerie person, it was uh, a very well known celebrity who thought that Philippine people would like to eat those kind of snails. Of course, uh, uh, they didn't, but it has since then become one of the major rice pests for farmers in the Philippines, but also in many other countries in Southeast Asia. And I'm really, really worried about it because you can see it's only there where there is standing water because it can only move if there is standing water. If there is a, no standing water on the soil, it can't move. That's why we didn't put water on when we were throwing. Huh? But now we have to put water on, which also means that those snails, which are all over the place here, may actually start moving into our field. And some, many of them have actually dug into the soil. They're sitting there and they might come out now. And what they do is they chop off the young seedlings completely. Yeah. So that could be a major problem that we are facing. Uh, we haven't put on any chemicals to control those snails. Some farmers do this, but these are very toxic chemicals and we don't really like them. So we're hoping that by using this alternate wetting and drying irrigation, where we don't have long periods of standing water on the field surface, we can restrict the movement of these snails and control it that way. But it's going to be risky.